Coke says alleged mouse in Ken would have decomposed. Not everything goes better with Coke. Coca-Cola is fighting back against a South Dakota man who said he found a rodent in his drink by claiming the mouse would have been much more decomposed. Wayne Putzier of Mitchell filed suit against the beverage behemoth, saying a 16-ounce can he bought from a gas station last June contained the critter and made him sick. Putzier's complaint says he had finished most of the can before feeling an object inside touch his lips, gagging discovering the mouse and spending the next several weeks with diarrhea and abdominal cramping. He is seeking $2,026 as well as general damages. At a hearing Tuesday, a lawyer for Coke said if the mouse had been bottled in the can created in Indiana in April, it would have been further decomposed. It had fur. It had blood on its nose. Its limbs were intact. There was very minor decomposition, attorney Brian Johnson said according to the Daily Republic. Pudsier's lawyer James D. Taylor told the Daily News he disagrees with Coca-Cola's contention, but does not want to comment on the facts of the case until the trial. The decomposing of destructive ability of Coca-Cola has long been a subject debate, with urban legends saying the soft drink can do the hard work of removing blood from the highway. Coke's website says acid in the cola is safe to drink and myths about it being able to dissolve a penny, a piece of meat or a tooth overnight are false. The company's lawyer Brian Johnson did not immediately respond to a request for comment about the properties of his client's drink. Taylor said that he has the mouse preserved in his office, but does not want to release a picture of it or comment on the facts of the case before trial. The Tuesday hearing concerned whether Puzier's suit will be handled as an expedited case with a limit on witnesses and damages, or a regular civil case with more witnesses.